Right mates, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I haven't got a microphone today, so uh, this is the GoPro, so I'm just hoping the uh, the volume's gonna be okay. I'll speak up a little bit. <laughs> I'm trying not to be patronizing. Uh, so uh, what we're gonna do, to, I'll tell you what we're gonna do today, my friends. Um, I was down at Dock End uh, filming a video uh, a little while ago and one of the taxi drivers came over and said that I'd been watching the videos absolutely love the content etc which was really nice of him I appreciate it. I always like to meet my subscribers and he says I'll tell you what where you should film because no, none of the hardly any of let's put it that way hardly any of our visitors to the town actually go on the railway uh, track walk and have a look at La Pool Viaduct so that's what I'm gonna do although I'm not going on the railway track because I'm right under the viaduct and it's not great for filming what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk on the cinder track and then I'm go, gonna go down into uh, the Captain Cook's Haven and we'll get a beautiful look at the uh, at the La Pool viaduct it's a majestic piece of engineering I'm gonna try and get me drawn up it's a little bit windy but we'll see whether we can get it done in between times I'll get on the uh, the cinder track and then I'll stop get the camera going and show you where to turn off on the cinder track so if you want to go down you want to have a look at La Pool Viaduct you want to get under the 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 thing and have a proper good gander at it <laughs> <laughs> then you'll know where to go so thanks for watching thanks for tuning in let's hope we can get the drone up and I'll see you in a minute right mate see we are we're on the cinder track I've got my neck mount on hope it's not wobbling mind you it shouldn't be wobbling at all should it it's got stabilisation on it, this thing. So this isn't far on the cinder track. It's a lovely walk. It's the route onto Robin Hood's Bay. It's about seven miles. So if you feel like you've got your walking head on, uh, you can come along here, walk right into Robin Hood's Bay. It's the old railway line, railway track. There's no track or lines on here anymore. Used to go right through to uh, Scarborough, but it's a beautiful walk. Views to die for. Can I try and show you? I'll get a bit further on. So I'm going to walk on here and then I'm going to show you the way down to Captain Cook's Haven and uh, we're going to have a look at the La Pool Viaduct. I cycle on here quite a, quite a lot, but I, to be honest with you, I walk on a bit further, I go further, cut through the fields, then I go to the supermarket, Sainsbury's or Little, little, little El Aldi, whatever it is. I always get told off for forgetting which one it is. <laughs> to replenish my stocks of uh, yeah you know what and uh, yeah and then it's a nice walk back into town lovely it's a little bit windy today as I said to you earlier I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to be able to get me uh, get me drawn up but we'll have a go how's that can you see it it's a right view isn't it So that's Captain Cook's Haven down there, and that's where we're going to go. So if you want to do this walk, get yourself on the uh, cinder track. You can access it near the bottom of Panet Park, near where Beaver's Furniture Shop is. You can go up some steep steps, or you can walk under the little tunnel, and there's a nice gentle slope up onto the cinder track there. Absolutely lovely. What's this saying? get that this is Larpool viaduct bridge number six to remember in Sydney Smith who loved his bike how nice so we'll uh, we'll keep going on here it's not much of a walk now we'll get up uh, to the end of the bridge and then we turn left and come back on ourselves not so many seagulls squawking out here I'm pleased to say I think this camera needs tilting down a bit. Is that any better? Honestly, I'm all over the shop. It is nice walking on here. It really is nice. Do you know what's nice about it? People are nice. You walk on here and people say, good morning, hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. <laughs> Honestly. Fantastic, friendly people, nice people, pleasant people. 
That's what you want in life, isn't it? Not all keeping their heads down and ignoring everybody. Let's see if it works with these two here. Young lovers. I think it probably will. We'll see. Here we go. How do? You all right? There you go. Nice, happy, smiley faces. Boyfriend and girlfriend, perfect. Right, we're nearly here to this turn off. Oh, there's a bloke here who goes at Fisherman's Club. Yeah, he's a cool dude, isn't he? Hello, mate. Hello. You, you all right? Yes, thank you. Good. There you go, works every time. I do. Right, so you veer off to the left as you go over the bridge. And uh, I don't know whether I can film all the way down here. Maybe I'll do part of it just so I'll go under this bridge and you'll start to get a little look at the, the, uh, the haven below. You can rent holiday cottages down here. It's in a lovely spot, to be honest with you. It really is pretty. And I think they've got a swimming pool here. The only trouble is it's a little bit out of town. Uh, and it's, it's a bit of a walk. Particularly if you've had a sh few sherbets when you're coming home, you know, and you've got a bit of a wobble on. Not that I ever do that, you know, hardly ever touch the stuff myself. <laughs> anyway, look, you'll see the homes here and what they're like. Most of them, and I'm not sure all of them, but most of them have these balconies to sit out on. There's some right down at the side of the Esk, which is rather pretty. The nice thing is the winds drop, so I've got a good chance of getting my drone in the air. That'll be nice. Oh, that's what we've come to see. Oh, the sun's out. It's absolutely glorious. Look at that for a piece of engineering. So I'll get down low and see whether I can get the drone up. Come on. Come on, Simon, keep it going. Let's show our friends and see if there is actually a swimming pool here. Let's tilt the camera down a little bit. How's that? That's better. You see, if you're going into town from here, you've got to take your car. You're going to have to find parking when you get into town, and that's nigh on impossible. If you're having a bite to eat and a couple of drinks, you're not going to want to bring the car home. That would be the wrong thing to do. So you're going to have to leave your car in Whitby overnight, and then you're back on the meter first thing in the morning. If you haven't got a ticket, you'll get a ticket. Oh, this is swimming pool here. I've been down here a few times, I've never seen anybody in it, but there you go. Yeah, back to where we were, um, and then you've got to think about how you're going to get back into town the next morning. You'll get a taxi home, that ain't going to be cheap. Then you've got to get probably a taxi back into town the next morning. Oh man, absolute nightmare, isn't it? Anyway, I think we've seen enough for now, you're getting the idea of it. I'll switch off for now, we'll get a bit further down, and uh, I'll try and get the drone up and... Oh, get, look, I'll tell you what, Simon, shut up a minute. Let's just let our viewers see what's going on. Stop rushing them. Take it easy. You're always in a rush. Let's just have a walk. Enjoy the view. Show your visitors what all this is about. Your viewers, not your visitors, your cabbage. <laughs> Honestly, I keep saying if I had a brain, I'd be lethal. Honestly, I could be a super villain. <laughs> anyway, I'm talking rubbish again. Come on, have a, just get a bit further down and then we'll just show them another, another view of the viaduct over the red roofs. You see, that's, that was a nice thing that they did when they built this. At least they, they kept the tradition of red roofs and all of that sort of malarkey. How's that, mates? Even if I can't get my drone up, it's been worth coming down, hasn't it? Just have a look at that. Come on, come on, stride out. I think this one here, Glendine, is a private house. In fact, I don't think it is a private house. It's got some beautiful gardens fronting onto the Esk. That's a nice property over there, isn't it? On the other side of the, uh, the railway track. Right, mates, it's just getting a little bit windier down here, but... I'm going to have a go. I'm going to have a go for uh, for you guys. How about here? Are we all right here? 
and get a, look, a good look at the viaduct here. So, uh, oh look, the but I think that's for a barbecue, but it ain't been used, has it? Right, there we go. So I'll see whether I can get my drone up and give you a quick look of it. But either way, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And if there's some drone footage after this, well, <laughs> we've done all right, haven't we? Right, we got the drone up. Won't be up for long because the wind's blowing it about all over the place. Anyway, this is a Larpal viaduct. It was constructed to carry the Scarborough to Whitby uh, trains. It's single track rail line. It's a 13 arch structure. And construction began in 1882. And it was completed in 1884. Not bad, eh? Um, mm, did I tell you that two men actually fell from it during uh, while it was being built? Both survived. Lucky lads. <laughs> yeah, and uh, there's no metal in the structure at all because they thought the salt air might actually corrode the metal. So the structure is all brick and cement. So that's it, mates. Larpool Viaduct. Uh, as I say, I'm going to get the drone down in a minute. It's wobbling all over the place. Um, I've crashed and burnt one already. I don't intend doing another one. So, right, let's get it down. So that's it, mates. One last look. Sorry about the drone footage. <laughs> it's so windy and we're panicking how we're going to crash it. <laughs> you know I've got history of that, don't you? We'll have a walk down here and I'll just see whether I can show you another angle of the, uh, the bridge. I hope you're getting it. It's, it's lovely down here, isn't it? But would I want to stay here? No, I wouldn't. Not if I'm coming to Whitby. Now, if you want to get away from it all, you want to turn your phone off, you, all of that business, you just want to chill out, have a glass of wine or two, and uh, enjoy oneself, then I'd say it's a great place to come. If you wanted to get into Whitby and, uh, you know, wine, dine and all the rest of it, then maybe this isn't the best place for you. Anyway, my friends, there's the last look at the Larpool Viaduct. If that isn't a magnificent piece of engineering, there's no metal in this at all, no metal in it, because the thought by the seaside, the salt air would start to corrode it. So it's all built out of bricks and cement. That's it, bricks and cement. How on earth they got that built and the brick is... <laughs> I don't know. They must have been here for 50 years. I don't know. Anyway, that's it, mates. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like, give us a subscribe, a share, any of that business. That would be absolutely fan-dabby-dozy. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you soon. Chin-chin. <laughs>